Baha'i houses of worship, symbols of unity, infusing the concepts of service and worship with their doors open to all people, regardless of race, creed, and religion, have been raised up from the islands of the Pacific, traversing the Americas across the seas to Europe, from Asia to the heart of Africa, with their influence being felt throughout the world. In Santiago, Chile, the last of these continental houses of worship, a magnificent structure of concrete, steel, glass, and stone is being erected. Over the last year, the major civil work of the project, including grading and utility lines, in an area of more than 11 hectares of land, has advanced and is near completion. Completion of the three-story structure of concrete, including the basement, service tunnel, main floor and the mezzanine, is another milestone achievement for the project team. The complexity of the work, the requisite high quality and the meticulous precision were achieved with close cooperation of the design team, the project manager's office and the local contractor. Precise installation of steel embeds anchored into the mezzanine floor level provides the connection points between the superstructure's steel frame and the concrete structure. Along with the progress of the construction work in Santiago, Chile, the engineering and fabrication of the components of the superstructure have been underway in Europe for over the last year and a half by Gartner, a German contractor. The 30-meter-high superstructure consists of three main elemental systems, the structural steel framing, the exterior cast glass cladding, and the interior translucent marble cladding. The main structural steel framing, being manufactured in Turkey, consists of 18 steel tubular columns converging at the oculus at the top of the structure with a main ring tube. The steel columns are connected laterally by steel members to create a rigid structure. Over 8,800 pieces of infill space frame steel structure are added to form an envelope of the building, supporting the exterior and the interior cladding. The space frame members are connected with over 3,100 steel nodes made of 8 cm thick steel plates, gas torched and robotically milled. Over 5,000 square meters of 3 cm thick, custom-made, translucent cast glass cladding, fabricated by a Canadian artisan in Toronto, covers the exterior of the superstructure. The cast glass panels have been water jet cut, or slumped, into 10,000 different shapes and sizes of a combination of flat and curved pieces based on precise computerized measurements. The cut cast glass pieces are fixed with concealed anchors and fitted in over 3,000 aluminum frames which will then be assembled onto the exterior of the space frame structure creating the exterior envelope of the building. In Portugal, quarrying of over 400 tons of Estremos marble blocks for the interior cladding of the superstructure is taking place. The blocks are carefully selected, processed, cut and honed. The curved pieces are cut using a robotic milling and shaping process in Italy, after which all the pieces are fixed with anchors and shipped to Germany to be fit with their aluminum frames. Fabrication of the bronze ribbon windows, entrance doors, other windows and canopies are advancing according to schedule. 
the 420 ton steel framing structure, the 450 ton interior and exterior cladding systems of cast glass and stone of the superstructure, and other additional elements are being fabricated in over 15 different locations spread throughout Europe and the Americas and are being shipped to Chile. In mid-August, a small team of German engineers and supervisors arrived in Santiago and are preparing for the assembly and erection of the superstructure with the assistance of local contractors. Two cranes have been installed and the temporary central support for the erection of the structure has been raised. Participation of volunteers from different countries in the construction of the House of Worship has added a new dimension to the work underway and provided a unique opportunity for the participants to be part of such a monumental project. Porque esta es una experiencia única porque lo que uno vive el día a día acá todos los días hay una experiencia nueva. Necesitamos una actitud de dedicación, de dedicar nuestras vidas para servicio. Después de este año nada va a ser igual, te cambia tu perspectiva, tu forma de ser, tu forma de ver las cosas radicalmente. Tú tienes muchos obstáculos en toda su vida, pero cuando tú tienes un espíritu de servicio, nada puede molestarte mucho. En lo espiritual me hace más fuerte, Y es un orgullo muy grande estar participando en ello. I wanted to be a part of something that is going to be a huge accomplishment for the world. I'm really excited to say that I've been able to work on it. Estamos muy felices por encontrarnos en un momento histórico aquí en Santiago de Chile. Ya que se está construyendo la última casa de adoración Bajay Continental. Bienvenidos. While this sacred building is being raised in the neighborhood of Peñalolén, bringing light and beauty to the Andean foothills of Santiago, efforts are prospering to build a community in the surrounding areas which united in its vision, undergoes a process of continuous growth from the heart of its community life. This process is inspired by two essential aspects of life, the worship of God and selfless service to humanity. El templo, de alguna manera, es como el corazón de esta comunidad. Y de ese corazón emanan las energías, ¿no? emana la inspiración que a todos nosotros nos ayuda a conectarnos con una vida de servicio y al mismo tiempo a tener una conexión profunda con, con lo sagrado. Adults, youth and children participate in a variety of educational activities which invite all who have a sincere desire to improve their own lives and that of their community to reflect together on the reality of their neighborhood and consult on how to support each other in meeting their individual and community needs. 
Dentro de este proceso, algo que hemos estado aprendiendo, desarrollando, cultivando y sobre todo esforzándonos es cómo nos ayudamos unos a otros. A esto llamamos acompañamiento. Y el acompañamiento no es solamente conocer nuestras propias capacidades o talentos y cómo las ponemos al servicio de los demás, sino también el estar muy atentos y conocer las capacidades, esos talentos, esas fortalezas que cada uno de los que están trabajando por este proceso en desarrollo está poniendo al servicio de su entorno. ¿Y cómo esos cuatro amigos se pueden apoyar para abrir este grupo femenino? ¿Qué cosas pueden hacer? ¿Ir a hacer las visitas juntos? ¿Sí? Eso sería una forma de apoyarse. Transforming influence can be seen in the spirit of joy and unity in which various activities are carried out on the grounds of the temple site. Among these activities are the celebrations of Baha'i Holy Days, training seminars, and deepening meetings. activities, educational and informative events on the progress of the construction are also taking place. Among these events was a technical conference held in October, organized for professionals in the areas of architecture, engineering, construction and landscaping, which also involved local authorities and journalists. The theme of the conference was Architectural Innovation and Structural Challenges the Baha'i Temple of South America. In this conference, the architect Sia Makhariri, along with other professionals involved in the project, shared the interesting details about the design of the House of Worship, the engineering behind its construction, and the progress made so far in the execution. The site of the House of Worship is open to all who wish to conduct individual and group visits. As such, a contingent of friends and neighbors continuously visit the site, pray together, and receive the inspiration to continue in their path of service and the building of a vibrant community. Existe una estrecha relación entre la adoración a Dios La adoración a Dios Y el servicio a la humanidad El servicio Y el servicio El servicio se concibe no solo como un acto, sino como una condición del alma Condición que es posible fortalecer mediante la oración Mediante la oración Las casas de adoración simbolizan esta conexión profunda entre adoración y servicio. Adoración y servicio. Soon to adorn the Andean foothills overlooking Santiago, the house of worship is being erected as a symbol of the oneness of humanity, 
with the hope that this structure will elevate the spirit of the communities that surround it and become a magnet for the hearts of all inhabitants of South America who long for peace and harmony. In October 2013, the erection of the superstructure of this house of worship began and it has been steadily advancing in the past months according to schedule. The main ring tube at the top of the superstructure was lifted and installed with utmost precision. At the same time, special brackets which will connect the curved columns from the mezzanine to the main ring were installed. This was followed by the installation of 18 curved columns. Each column was first assembled on special supports on the ground beside the temple and finally placed into position. The steel space frame structure is currently being assembled with over 3,100 nodes and 6,400 tubes of different shapes and sizes that have arrived at the site and is being installed in sections between the curved columns to create the supporting structure for the interior and exterior cladding. A group of volunteers are assisting with the preparation and attachment of special rubber seals onto the space frame on which the interior and exterior cladding frames will later rest. Prefabricated elements of the superstructure, including steel, glass and marble components, continue to arrive at the site. In parallel, Fabrication of over 1,200 curved cast glass pieces and up to 800 curved marble pieces continues advancing before being shipped to Germany for framing. The fabrication and installation around the temple of 3 cm thick galvanized steel plates upon which the stone steps around the temple will rest has been completed. These steel plates cover the seismic gap that allows for independent movement between the building and the basement in the event of an earthquake. Medium and low tension electrical work, which includes the installation of a transformer, a generator, electrical panels and over 4,500 meters of cable, is near completion. Construction has also begun on the pathways that will surround the temple. These extensive pathways of over two kilometers in length are part of the landscaping design that encompasses more than five hectares of land. A contract agreement with a reputable local contractor has been signed for the construction of the accessory buildings, which include the reception hall, public restroom facilities and the guardhouse. Also included in this contract is the construction of the concrete steps between the parking area and the temple, the concrete ramp and the concrete fountains and reflective pool. Work has begun on the accessory buildings, which will be built into the hillside below the temple. In addition, progress is being made in the permits and legal processes for the construction of a 1.2 km new access road to the temple. While the construction of the House of Worship, which symbolizes the profound connection between worship and service, is advancing, the community of Chile combines both these concepts in their daily lives. Una casa de oración es un lugar donde podemos recordar a Dios, agradecer y apreciar su creación. Y esto me invita a poder amar a toda la humanidad y poder servirle. Gracias a la adoración, siento de que mi fe aumenta y que um, el servicio es una necesidad de mi alma. Es más estar en un estado 
estás en una conexión permanente con Dios y que se ve reflejada en tus acciones. As a spiritual center for the people of Chile, the House of Worship is a symbol reminding us of our innate nobility and the high purpose for which we have been created. A sacred edifice erected to exert a positive influence on the lives of people from all walks of life. As the people of Santiago arise each morning to contribute their share to the betterment of society, they can turn to the House of Worship as a source of upliftment and inspiration, conscious that it has been built to enrich the life of the community and the relationships that bind people together. Inspired by the vision and influence of the House of Worship, the Baha'i community is learning about the relationship between worship and service. In communities across South America, increasing numbers of families and individuals gather together for prayer in diverse settings and engage in activities that aim to strengthen bonds with neighbors, friends and co-workers. As a result, people are learning together to enrich the devotional life of their communities. At the same time, classes for the spiritual education of children, youth and adults are multiplying, helping to raise the capacity of all to develop spiritual qualities and to contribute to the progress of their communities. In these endeavors, all are invited to participate. Aprender a no enfocarme en mí mismo, sino que a enfocarme en el servicio obligado a los demás. El servicio que hago, lo hago por amor. Y cuando me capacito, lo hago con excelencia. Estudiando con amigos y forjando esa amistad verdadera, fue cuando los deseos de servir también se incrementaron y apliqué. Querer salir de la capacitación solamente para aplicar todo lo que aprendí. There have been key moments of reflection in recent months, such as the National Unity Meeting, where more than 400 people gathered from across the country in the Meeting Center building located at the construction site of the temple, as well as two summer schools held in February. The participants reflected on their service activities and the importance of worship of God, they also trained to fulfill the dual purpose of their lives, transform themselves and transform their community. Although in appearance the house of worship is a material structure, it has, however, a profound spiritual meaning given that it is the dawning place of the remembrance of God and forges bonds of unity from heart to heart.